all of the progress that you've gotten over the time of you being consistent, going in and doing what you're doing, you've created a buffer. Now this buffer is in all of the phases of your body, right? Metabolic function is physiological, biological, and neurological. You have increased your brain's ability to function. You've increased the chemical reactions and functions in your body, and you've increased how your body physically performs. What's up everybody, it's Coach Bronson here, and I have a topic I want to talk to you about that is commonly brought up on the fitness side of things with injuries or sabbaticals or seasons of life where people have to deprioritize their fitness and they're anxious, scared, worried about what's going to happen when they come back. Um, starting over, feeling like you've lost all your progress and how that's not really as bad of a thing or impactful of a thing as you think it is. There's a, there's a specific concept in exercise science that explains how, when you have to take a break, it's not starting over. But before we get into that, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate everybody that listens to the information that I put out there, the content that I have, and I would love to get feedback. And the, the, when the channel grows, it helps me know that the message that I'm sending is making a difference. And then I, it, gives, it gives me the motivation, honestly, to keep putting that message out there. I want to help people have the context, help them understand. I want to help you understand what your goals are, why you think this whole process is important to you, and then how to take the information that's out there and make it work best for you. Right. So we talk about concepts. We talk about principles. Um, I'm not going to try to sell you a specific thing. This is the one thing you have to do. I can't tell you that. And I'll tell you front, right up front. I can't tell you that. I can tell you the concepts of what makes fitness work. I can give you the concepts of what makes nutrition work. I can help you understand what mindset things you need to be aware of to help you stay consistent and stay in this for the long haul. But I can't tell you what's going to work specifically for you. I want to empower you to do that. So if you subscribe, I hope that you give me the chance. That's what subscribing will do. Give me the chance to help you figure this out for yourself. Um, that's my job as a coach, right? I'm coach Bronson. That's what my job is as a coach. So when we talk about the times in our life, particularly with fitness, where we have to slow down. We have to stop. We have to change our schedule. I can't get to the gym four days a week like I usually do. I can only go two days a week now because I'm, I've got something going on at work. We got to push for something, uh, extra project, a sales push, whatever it may be. I can only get into two days a week. I'm going to lose all my gains or I got hurt. I can't work out for eight weeks. And then when I do, I have another four to six weeks of rehab before I can get back to where I'd like to start getting back into my regular routine, right? So I've got 10, 12 weeks of, of inconsistent or not at all exercise. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm getting depressed. I'm upset about it. I'm anxious. I got to start all over. And then I'm unmotivated or demotivated to get back into it because now I've taken all this time off and I don't want to go to the gym and try to work out and feel like I'm all weak and don't know what I'm doing. That's a common, common discussion I have with a lot of clients, those types of things. Here's a couple of things we understand. So when we talk about pro progress in our fitness, we talk about the concepts. We'll talk about a few different ones. We talk about the concept of progressive overload. I'm going to do a little bit more every time, whether it's a higher weight, an extra rep, a whole extra set. Maybe it's a more complex movement. I'm going to do something every time I work out that is challenging me to push beyond where I was the last time. Okay. Doesn't have to be a lot, just a little bit more. So I maintain and push, push that envelope a little bit more every day. So that's the first thing to understand, progressive overload. You're going to push every day. Try to get outside that zone where you currently stand. That's how we grow. Second thing to understand is the concept of super compensation, where when we do that progressive overload efficiently, practically, and effectively, when we do it right, our body will respond so that if I'm pushing to this level, when I rest and recover, when I come back to do that exercise again, I can automatically do a little bit more than I did the last time. So that's really where progressive overload is important because when you work out and you push yourself, you are pushing yourself the capacity that your body has to the next level. And then when you rest, that is when your body can realize the next level. So this is another conversation we talk about overtraining. We're not talking about that right now where you keep pushing and pushing, and pushing. 
you're trying to push your body's capacity. It's like, I can handle this if you, if you give me a second to catch my breath and recover. And then when I come back again, I'll actually be able to do it. Okay. If you push too hard and you never recover and rest, then you never actually realize that. That's a different discussion. That's, that's how we overtrain. But if you are adequately stimulating and you are adequately, adequately resting, then the next workout you have, you can come in and you can realize the additional potential. Okay. That's called super compensation. All right. So we grow. That's how we grow. Push hard, rest a little bit, push hard again, and we'll be able to push harder than we did the last time. Now, here's the cool thing about that. Every time we progress a level, we are bringing up the back at another level as well. So if I increase the maximum output that I can do, I'm by default increasing the minimum effort that I can do as well. If I am at a point where I'm exhausted, tired, whatever, and I can only do X, right? So here's, let's, let's use some numbers. If my 100% back squat is a hundred pounds, then my 50% back squat is 50 pounds. Is that, that's pretty straightforward. I'm using one to ones here. So the most I can do, the maximum output is a hundred pounds. 50% of that is 50 pounds. If I progressively overload and then rest and then let super compensation happen over and over and over again, and I get to the point where my maximum back squat is 200 pounds, I have now raised my 50% back squat to 100 pounds. So I've increased my max and I've increased the lower end as well. What does that mean in this context of taking time off, taking a season, schedules aren't happening for, I can't do the same thing I was doing for the next three months because of something happening at work or school or family. What this means is you're never starting over. This is the cool part, guys. You're never starting over. If I can increase my maximum and I increase my minimum at the same time, if I have to take time off, how long do you think it's going to take for that minimum to go back to zero? You, everyone acts like if I take three months off or I have to go from five days a week to one day a week, I'm going to lose all my gains and then I'm starting over. No, you're not starting over. You may go down a little bit, but you've created a buffer. Hey there, I wanted to let you know about my latest book, Body Confident, that's coming out in September 2024. Call it a critical thinking guide to your health journey because it is a framework, a guide, a blueprint that's going to help you understand and be able to filter all the information that's out there on the internet that you're getting from social media, YouTube. Go to bodyconfidentbook.com, sign up for updates. The book comes out in September. All of the progress that you've gotten over the time of you being consistent, going in and doing what you're doing, you've created a buffer. Now, this buffer is in all of the phases of your body, right? Metabolic function is physiological, biological, and neurological. You have increased your brain's ability to function. You've increased the chemical reactions and functions in your body, and you've increased how your body physically performs. All of those systems will improve at a higher level for the entirety of the time that you have to take off. It's not something that you have to worry about. When you come back, will you be a little weaker? Maybe. Will your endurance be off? Maybe. Will you be starting over? Absolutely not. You will be better off doing the things you need to do to focus on the priorities in your life at the time. Save yourself the mental stress of worrying about, I'm gonna lose all my gains. Focus on what's in front of you and then come back to it when you can. This whole process isn't about adding complexity and stress to your life. You don't have to do everything all the time. So understanding that you're not going to lose it all overnight and that sometimes we have seasons in our life where other things take priority. That doesn't mean you can, I'm saying, just stop working out altogether. Obviously, if you want to try to main, maintain a habit of movement, okay, but that can mean maybe I'm not going to lift weights for the next week or two because of whatever's going at work. Maybe I'm just going to go do some stretching, do some yoga, spend 30 minutes on a treadmill just to maintain the habit of movement. Maybe I'll just go for a walk after dinner every night. I just haven't had time. I don't have the time. There's no way I can fit it in my schedule to go to the gym three days or four days or five days a week. Maybe I'll go to the gym one day a week and do a full body workout. And then two days a week, I'll walk after dinner or something. The expectation that you have on yourself 
only comes from yourself. Okay, so understanding that loss of progress isn't as much of an issue as you may think it is. The weight that you're putting on that impact is not as much as you think it is, is what I want you to take away from this. Focus on what's in front of you. Try not to stress over this, this as an issue and just do what you need to do and then come back to it when you can. Take it easy, guys. Hope that helps. Hey there, did you know that I have a free community on Discord? If you go to discord.coachbronson.com, you can join my community, you can meet other people, you can engage in a group of individuals who are all searching for and having success in finding their context and the solutions that will work best for them. Hop yourself in there, discord.coachbronson.com. See you soon.